Okay. Okay. Welcome back in. Mark and Prime Radio program. We're up in the conference room uh, where we are joined by these four gentlemen who are going to musically entertain today. Uh, first of all, as we've talked about, the, the day gig with the Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> morning. It's way too early. It is early. No time too early to rock. No. On keyboards, we got, uh, and welcome back to the show, Ed Roth. And Eddie, are you not going to be joining us for the Christmas show? Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Straight to the rehearsal from here. Now, do you know yet what parts you're going to be uh, uh, involving yourself in? I think I'm doing the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a great hangman. Steve Lukather's there. Oh, it's going to be genius. Yeah. Now you have a rehearsal uh, today, correct? Yep. Uh -huh. Straight from here, straight to the rehearsal. Wow, you are just too connected to us now, aren't you? Absolutely. Cool. Just a couple of adult beverages on the way, and I'll be all awesome. Right on. <laughs> uh, also on guitar, Jeff Coleman. Yeah. Nice. And on bass, we got Kevin. Is it Chown? It. Kevin Chown. Hey, Kev, what's up? Oh. You got it. All right, gentlemen, fire one off for us, then we'll discuss. The bombastic meat bags. <laughs>
nice. Yeah. Woo! The bombastic meat baskets. Now, uh, Chad, with a hugely successful day job like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, any side project normally is going to have a, a purpose, a reason. Uh, what did you want the bombastic meat bats to be? Um, well, first of all, it's not my band. Okay. <laughs> We're all friends, and uh, we just want to have fun and be ourselves, and that, I think that's the best thing about playing music is if you can do that, and that's the only way I want to play it with any project that I do, whether it's the Peppers or Chicken Foot or these guys. And mm. <coughs> um, We're like a, a Thursday night poker game <laughs> going bad. <laughs> <laughs> Something went askew. Well, love to hear about this, guys. Um, the ten songs on Meet the uh, the Meat Bats. It says here they were written in a span of a few days at, at your poolside, the Tiki Room, the, the, yeah, you, right. at your house in Malibu. Right. Love to have been there for, for that. <laughs> All four of you there just riding, having fun, poker, poker game gone bad thing. Uh, for this record... It was the three of us because we'd play with a guy, Glenn Hughes. Yeah. And, oh, sure. And uh, that's that where this all started. And then actually, it started from just us jamming, um, waiting for Glenn to show up to rehearsals. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, the singers are always late. I thought, we don't have a singer. See, we were on time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, um, you know, we just jam we would just jam on this kind of stuff that we're doing. This kind of, I don't know, maybe it was me or somebody just said, we should, like, write some songs and, and do a record. And we went to the tiki rooms in my house and came up with stuff. And I'd come up with a groove, or Jeff would have some ideas, or Ed. And then we were going to have a different bass player who will, will be unnamed. <laughs> and he didn't, he was like <laughs> in jail or something. And he can make it. And we just literally, I think he you. Happened to call the studio. He called the studio we were at, like setting up, getting ready to play. And just happened to call. He called our friend who was engineering Boots. And uh, he said, uh, he said, um, I think you were like making a sandwich or something. <laughs> he was hanging out like, what's going on? We're like, dude, come on over. You need, we need a bass player. So literally the first time we played so the, together. The question was, what are you doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> right now. He's like, well, I'm making a sandwich. Exactly. We need to finish making the sandwich. We let him have a sandwich. Sure, of course. Nice you gotta, can't play bass on, on an empty sandwich. Man's got to eat. Man's got to eat. And we recorded the first two songs of the record. I hadn't even met Chad. I was in the <laughs> was control like, room, and Chad's in the booth. And right. We jammed and started the rap. That was it. It's like, hey, nice to meet you. Hey, how you doing? All right. Well, if you so have that's it. if you have questions for any of the guys, call us one eight hundred nine five 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 six seven. We're back with more meat bats right after this. It's the Mark and Brian Radio Program. in the conference room uh, we're in the conference room because this band needs to be spread out man they need their space it is the bombastic meat bats um, if you want to go see them uh, you're going to have several opportunities first of all this coming Sunday the 13th at your house uh, at yeah. my house uh, and this is with Kenny Arnoff on drums that's what it says oh the 13th Sunday. Oh, that's over. Yeah, you missed that one. It All was right. great. Well, it's good that it's on our sheet. <laughs> Jesus. Where's Ted? Ted! Kill you. Ted! I lost track of dates. Kill you. Thanks. You, Ted? you know, it's only a detail. <laughs> but wait. 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 Uh, you can see them on the 20th uh, at the Baked Potato in Studio City. What size room is that? Uh, it's kind of like somebody's basement. Yeah. So get your tickets early. Yeah, try. There's two shows, so you can always go to the second one. All right. So that is on the 20th. That's this coming Sunday. Miss not. Well, the guitar player Jeff was asked to describe the band, and this is this is what he said about Kevin and Chad. Both did their time in Detroit and are the funky heartbeat of this group. But this is my favorite. He speaks of Ed, the keyboard player. He says Ed, Ed's got a gritty funk and 70s R&B thing going on. His clavinet playing is genius. And he's so great with leaving space in the arrangements. Wow. He has taste, knows just, no, the good part's coming up. He has taste, knows just what to play, and his life goal is keeping it sexy. Played with Coolio for five years, a Mexican pop star, survived three riots, and Mexican jail. <laughs> <laughs> and Ed, you are now the answer to a trivia question. In the 25 years that Brian and I have been doing this radio program, there is no other musician 
that has performed on our show on back-to-back -back days. Because you go from here into the Christmas show, you are the answer to that trivia question. Hey! Genius. And i got to say, now that I'm awake, excited about playing with Slash, Steve Lukather, yeah. Lee Sklar, Jason Bottom, Rob Halford, all of those guys, Greg Bissonette, yep. Mark Bonilla, going to be Keith Emerson, going to be genius. Yes, it is. All right, boys. We don't, we don't use that word genius very lightly around here, as you can see. Uh, we have a question real quick. Uh, let's go to caller Mark. Mark, are you there? Uh, Frankie, can you get caller Mark? All right, he wants to know, Chad, are you still playing hockey? Am I still playing hockey? Uh, not well. <laughs> no, I wear the equipment, but I don't. I, you know, I'm a goalie, so I just kind of stand there and things hit me. We have been on the ice at the same time. You, we have? you and and Mark and I. Yeah. Did we, you guys score on me? No. Wherever the puck was, we weren't. We had no idea what we were doing. We tried. A, when was this? It was a celebrity thing at the forum a years, years ago. Back. Years ago yeah. I'm telling you, man, that with the gear on and yeah. two guys who don't skate well. <laughs> By the time you go down the ice a couple of times, we were drenched in sweat. Canadians are whack. <laughs> Yo, man, word. All right, the bombastic meat bats are with us. We've got shows that you can we'll run down, but let's hear yet another, shall we?
That's good, guys. That's good. Good rip. Boy, you talk about killing it. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, was that that was a good rip? Was a good rip. I was back there. I didn't want to. You know, good job too. But you know. <laughs> wait, 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 where's? Is that wireless? Because I'll see it. Yeah. Was, was, <laughs> here, man. Oh, right, right, right. Try, let's try this. Yeah, the hey, you know, the radio. Yeah. Oh. All right. I thought we teamed up pretty good on that, man. Pretty good. <laughs> man. Hey, good gig, brother. Hey. Woo. Bombastic Woo. meat bets. That was great. We'll be back with one more with the guys right after this. It is the Market Rider. Go get some pancakes. <laughs> 955 KOS. Hey, you know who that is? The experience. Market by Radio program. We do want to remind you once again. Um, with the Christmas show tomorrow night at the Nokia, we did have a block of tickets that were set aside for the band, the musicians, and the various people. They used what they needed. They've returned a batch of those tickets that are currently, these are good seats now. Uh, these are house seats. So they're on sale at markandbryan.com. If you haven't gotten your tickets, it is a sellout, but these tickets have been released back onto the website, so go get them today. Now, the boys you're listening to, the Bombastic Meat Bats, have a gig. It is coming up Sunday, the 20th, at the Baked Potato in Studio City. It's small, so if you want to be in the room, go get your tickets now. We got one more from you guys? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks a lot, you guys, for having us. It's been, it's been great. fun. Right. Listen. And you were smoking on that last track. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thanks, man. You know, well, you know, why don't you just kind of making Jeff, why don't you just sit this one out? You cool <laughs> We talked about that during the commercial break, so I'm, I'm going to let him handle this. Because right. he's come a long way in the last ten minutes, so he's, he'll no, be able no, to. No, what you did in that last one is what Steve Lukather said on the show. Yeah. You wigged out a groove. I wigged out a groove on the get. That's what you did. All right, the bombastic meat bats. <laughs> Oh, 
I was going to say this about Chad, but I'm going to say about every one of you, your, your perspective instruments, you, you hold a clinic every time you play them. The new CD is Meet the Meat Bats. How can they get a hold of the record? Go to your favorite Best Buy, and you can find a CD there. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. It's kind of a radio. Isn't that a radio <laughs> voice? Aren't you supposed to have like a radio oh, voice? You can go to uh, warriorrecords.com as well. <laughs> All right, so the CD is Meet the Meat Bats. That's and, right. and again, the gig is this <laughs> Sunday night. I think it's on iTunes as well. <laughs> at the Baked Potato <laughs> on the 20th. Baited. I'm and a little it, constipated. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I need that shot in the butt. <laughs> Please. A little X-lax for the drummer. Uh, boys, it was a real honor and a, and a treasure a for the show. Blast. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, guys. Happy holidays, you guys. Everything. Same to you. We will do business in return. It's the Market Line Radio Program.